Hello and welcome to Forest Arts and this is part two of painting um, a painting that I started recently and this time I've got some music playing in the background um, apologies it's a little bit dull but I have brought I have sort of lightened it the best I can I did try to put a daylight bulb in to work but apparently it uh, it's been years since I've turned it on and it's gone so I'll get that sorted for next time so without further ado we're gonna do work we're gonna do some work on this one here this has had one coat uh, apart, I don't know why there's a shadow there really uh, I might have to move the ta move this table right underneath the window that's something to contemplate next time. Okay, so let's get started. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, wherever you are in, uh, around the world. Okay, we're gonna go on, do some more on the, on the sky at the moment. Let's just, uh, just mix that up a little bit. I want a bit of... Okay, folks, let's go. So this is a painting that I sort of started... Um, a few days ago, and I uploaded the video. Um, and... Let's just get a little bit of lighter, lighter blue now in there. Just to blend. It's going to be a bit of white as well. That's going to sort of bring it all together, really. So this is part two, as I was saying. And... Um, Not too much there because that's where the sun has obviously dipped its head. Right, let me just go and wash this brush. Normally I wouldn't wash a brush but Hold on a moment. Sorry about that. My water had too much dark blue and I needed light because I'm putting some white on now. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's start adding text texture. I do like mixing the colours. Really brings it to life almost. So I hope you're having an all I hope you're all having a great weekend. Let me know where you're from, where you're watching this from. It is interesting to see where the viewers come from. It's been quite a miserable day again here in the UK. I had to go and do a job this morning, so I didn't see much of a rain personally, but I know some people's got really, really soaked when they were out and about. Oh, that sky's really taking shape there. This is royalty free music as well, by the way, so it should be okay. Shouldn't get any 
strikes. You know what YouTube are like. I think it's just nice to have a bit of music in the background when you're painting. If not for me, then for the viewers, basically. But I enjoy it too. I enjoy losing myself in music. That looks really cool. And you've got to be careful. Again, you have to just do it to a point where, you know, you, you start dragging the paint off. And you don't want that. I like the way that looks now. It could do with a little... Let me just put in a little... A little bit of darker... There. And just a little bit of... A little bit of um, white just to blend that part in. Yeah, I like that. I think it possibly could do with, hold on a moment, just a flickering of a darker blue. I need a little touch of it. And then just blend that with some nice, a bit of white. Just so it's like as if it's just the remnants of a darker sky. Just, just edging through. Just try and get it without the lines. Okay, yeah, it's starting to drag slightly now, so. Uh, Anywhere where you see the actual texture of a canvas, you can just go over that a little bit. Okay, I think the sky is okay at the moment, folks. Now what I want to do is work on the land. So, let me just swim the brush out. I should be okay to do it here. Okay, I'm going to use some light green first. I'm sorry, the darker green. Can't get that dark here. It's hard to tell with paint. Shouldn't be this dark. It's only literally 2:30 p.m. in the UK, but it's such a dark and dismal day. We've had this for about two weeks now. You know, it's really crap, to put it bluntly. You know, we seem to get some nice evenings, but daytime, forget it. It's a little bit there on the sky that's sort of, it's not an issue, but it's, uh, It's a little bit of dark blue. Okay, let's get some lighter. It doesn't look any lighter, I must admit. Looks the same colour. I need to sort out another green, really. Okay, let's get some brown in there to sort of get things sort of moving. visually so what's the uh, weather like in your neck of the woods oh yes I'm looking that's looking a bit better, isn't it? 
I'm only roughly doing this because that top part I'll actually cut that in better with a small fine brush for fine detail. Need some uh, some green. I'm back in a moment. Okay, I'm just going to use this same darker green because I. I haven't really got time to go looking for green paint now because it's gonna just it's gonna mean I'm gonna be off the camera for about three minutes it doesn't matter because I can actually put the darker green on next time when I do the next blending coat Sort of blend the green with the, uh, the brown. looking good that part just to let you know that I will be doing um, some painting on glass very shortly I've ordered some clear vases and I will be doing some beautiful abstract liquid pours on the glass vases and I shall see how they turn out. And I also do some, um, let me just show you. I like to do some, uh, this is one of my, it's hard to see in this light, I do apologize, but that's just a, a plain glass. It's got some beautiful sort of uh, glass paint on. And you can drink out of that because it's been sealed. Um, so yeah, the, the vases, I'm hoping that they will be here in about four days time. And um, I'm going to start doing that as a video. And I'll try, definitely I should get the lighting sorted out here because I do apologize for looking a bit darker. Even though I put the exposure up quite high on the fan, but there's only so much, you know, a video can do. But, uh, okay, and we just get into the point now where it's almost dragging. So, let's uh, call it a day with this one for the time being. Just put this, this sort of a more wetter layer of paint on there just to take away those. Yes, yeah. yeah, starting to drag slightly. Okay, my friends. Um, so that's the second coat 
on this painting. I believe that it might only need one more. I'm very happy with the sky. I might just have to tweak it just there a little bit. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put a sunset, but work on the land next time. That'll be part three. This is part two video and I shall probably put some trees along the edge there and possibly some wildflowers or long grasses, something along there. So uh, I just want to say thank you for joining me today on this video and have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Enjoy and take care and if you get a moment or two or an hour or two go for a beautiful stroll in a place like that. You know nature is our best friend and even better go into a forest breathe that air okay so from me forest arts aka steve have a fabulous day and thank you so much for joining me and um please like share and hit that subscribe button it really um I'd be really appreciated uh, if you did that and hit the bell icon then you'll get notified when I upload part 3 and part 4. I don't know how many parts this will have. Like I said the sky I'm very happy with apart from just a little tweaking. The land I've got to do a bit more too. Um, anyway I'm going to log off now and let you all have a fantastic day.